All right, welcome to my video about how to clean your ball cap. This is a super fast and super simple method. All you need are your fingers or a scouring pad and of course some dish soap. And with the dish soap, you simply wanna dab a very small amount on the affected areas on your hat using your fingers. Just work that soap in and or use the scouring pad just to very lightly work in the soap uh, to the affected areas. Once that is done, you're gonna take the hat over to the sink or over to a bucket. We're gonna to go to that in just a second and uh, we're gonna continue the cleaning process. So it's a two-step process. This is step one, here's step two. All right, so you're over here at, at step two. What you've done is you've filled up a sink uh, just enough to, to get over the brim of the hat. That's it, you don't need any more than that. You've added enough suds into the, uh, you really want it nice and sudsy. I've happened to use some natural soap so it's not as sudsy as maybe uh, some of the other mainstream soaps that are out there. You wanna add some dish soap again in here as you're filling it up just to over the brim of the hat and getting it nice and sudsy. Now you're just gonna take your fingers and all you're gonna do is just continue to work in, or you can use the scouring pad and just continue to work in the affected area of the hat. You can dunk it underneath, you just get underneath the hat, like underneath the, the rim here, inside the hat. You're just taking your fingers and your scouring pad and you're just working in all the affected areas until you're, 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 you're comfortable that the hat itself is clean. Now of course, uh, I gotta say this as a warning, make sure you do your due diligence that you are able to do that with the type of material of hat that you have. Fastest way is to give a quick call to a, a, a ball ha a cap company, a store that's in the mall or whatever, and just ask them if you can get that kind of material wet. Or of course, sometimes the hats will have uh, just sort of cleaning in, uh, instructions and what you can and can't do, very brief ones of course, underneath the rim of the hat, you just, you know, you gotta look and there may be a tag there that explains what you can or you can't do. I just don't wanna see any of you uh, messing your hats up um, because as you know, we love these hats, we want these hats looking good, we don't want them all messed up uh, because of something that we have, um, we've done um, to try and clean them. So. Uh, now that you've done your due diligence, that's cool. All right, you keep the soaked in here. Once you've worked in all the soap and everything and you've pushed this underwater and you've gotten every area clean, let it sit for 10 minutes and then we're gonna come back to it. Once it's sat for 10 minutes, now this hat has, of course, sat for 10 minutes. You take it out, you simply rinse it under, under some water like so, and getting everything cleaned out with it. And once you're happy with the, the rinse, then what you wanna do is just leave it in the sink and let it air dry. Now you can take it out of the sink, but I mean the reason I have it on the, you know, in the sink is because it's still dripping, it's still wet, so we want it to drain. You can put um, something across the top of the sink to let it drip dry. Um, you can also, you know, they, uh, in ball cap uh, stores also have uh, metal frames that uh, allow you not to lose the shape of the hat that you can put in underneath uh, the hat that allows you to, of course, um, let it drip dry as well. Uh, some of them have it that you, you know, those frames that you can actually allow, put the ball cap into a dishwasher, which we've not done because, you know, it's hit and miss with that. So that's it. You just let it drip dry and your hat is good to go. And so uh, that's it. Thanks so much for watching my video and I hope I've saved you some time and saved you some money. And um, I hope that your hat has gotten as clean as you need it to be and that you're back up and running. Thanks so much for watching this video and all the best.